So when students apply for foreign education, they just think about IELTS, TOEFL or their GPA, but they neglect about AP exams because they find it useless. They, they think that it is only useful for uh, the local students, but that's not true. So this video is all about AP exams for international students. So let's get started. So first of all, I would like to give you a brief introduction about myself. So I'm currently studying in US and in Georgia State University, and I will be able to do my undergrad in just three years, uh, which will be in computer science. And it would have taken four years, but just because of some AP exams and also by taking some overload uh, in my courses, I could do in three years. So let's start with the benefits of taking AP exams. So the first benefit is cost benefit. Yes. So as you will pass those AP exams, you will not have to take them again in college. So that means you will not be paying the tuition fee for those courses. And in other words, you will be uh, saving yourself time and money for that uh, courses. So let us take an example. You took four AP courses. So you will not have to study those courses again in college and you will save one semester because on an average you take three to four courses in one semester. So this will save you one semester and you will be able to graduate in three and a half years instead of four years, which was the case exactly with me. And, uh, and now you can take more courses each semester and finish your degree in three years. That's a huge benefit, I will say. And now that uh, brings us to the second benefit of taking AP exams. This will, so taking AP exams will enable you to know more about your passion. So let's say your major is computer science and, and you take AP computer science and that will enable you to know more about your major and it will boost up your confidence level and you will be able to perform better in your college. Yes, that's a huge benefit I will say once again. Yep. Now that brings us to our third benefit of taking AP exams. Yes, so you will be standing out by taking these exams because you will be one of those few students and you will get certificates for taking these exams and if you take three exams and score five out of five in all of them then you will get a special award and you can write it in your resume in your linkedin profile and that can help you in uh, getting jobs easily so that's once again a huge benefit so now let's talk about the cost of taking ap exams yes these are offered all around the world and if these are not offered in your country, you can definitely reach out to collegeboard.org and they can definitely find a way to help you out and they can provide you with these exams. And if I talk about India, there are 12 schools that offer AP exams uh, and uh, it costs around 9200 to 10,000 rupees in India and it costs around $92 in US. So, I mean, you might be thinking that the price is quite high, but think about the thousands of dollars you will be saving by skipping those courses. So let's consider this scenario that you took one AP course and that costed around $92 and you will be saving around $3,500 for that course if you are paying out of state or you can call it the international student fee in your school. So that's quite a lot once you consider the differences. Yep. So I will definitely recommend you to take those AP courses. So let's consider my scenario. So I took four AP courses. The first one was AP Physics C that included AP Physics Mechanics and AP Physics Electricity. The next one I took was AP Calculus BC. So that included AP Calculus 1 and 2 and then I took AP Chemistry. So now these seem to be four courses, but these gave me credits for five courses. So I could skip these five courses and I could skip a semester. Now I will be graduating in May 2020 in four years with a bachelor's and with a master's because of some courses I am taking along with my bachelor's and this is very beneficial for me. So if you want to ask any question, you can comment down below and that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.